Hi, this is Stefan and Marcus of Wolverine, and you're watching Live Prague. Welcome to Live Prague, I am your host Marcel Haster. In this video review I have a very interesting album. The story of this album starts in 2004, when I discovered the debut album of this band. It's a band from Switzerland, and they call themselves Rack. The album was called Lepidoptera. Say what? You heard it correctly. Lepidoptera. I know it's a bit of a difficult name and, well, I had the same idea, you know, what does it mean? Now, Lepidoptera, check Wikipedia, is an order of butterflies. Now, this whole idea of butterfly is, well, um, a bit of incorporated in the story that that album presents. Now, we take a step back to 2012. We move on eight years. And to my big surprise, there is a second album of Rock. I have it right here. A absolutely stunning album cover. Rock Lepidoptera 2 Book of Flight. complete if I left out the first album. I'll show you why. Just look at this absolutely stunning cover. I'll show you something more. Have a closer look of the album cover and then we do this. Well, we can make it even bigger. We can make it even more big. Now, as you can see, amazing artwork and I can already show you that the man in the middle here, in the red shirt, Mr. Mark Grassi, is oh, the brain behind this band. If we look at these covers next to each other, you can see they're both beautiful. They're very different, but they're very beautiful. In both cases, the artist responsible for this beautiful artwork is none other than Mr. Mark Wilkinson. Lepidoptera was a story that dealt with the metamorphosis, and not just from the butterfly, there we have it, but also from, well, a human being. And that is what you see in the artwork as well. Now, when we look at this album, and you see it looks very spacey, very sci-fi, but if I open it, oh, no, no, we're not gonna open it yet. First, we're gonna show you this, because also this cover runs all the way through, you know, Really amazing. Inside, oh, we have a little booklet and there we have the lineup. Now, I gotta say with this album they downsized the lineup to half of what they had originally, but it's for the better. Now, as you can see, the disc is missing. Um, I wanted the disc to be in here, but unfortunately I could not get it out of my CD player. It feels very comfortable there, so I decided to leave it. Which is good because there's a little bit of a story right here. And that story is interesting um, to understand what this music is about. If you look at the Facebook page or the website of uh, Rock, and I really recommend you visit the website because it is a really beautiful website. If it's right or it's right, we could be the best ones to try to make a conceptual prog. The first one, Let Me Drop Terra, is, was absolutely a concept album. And I'll show you the track listing. It's right here. And you can see that this also looks very much like a concept album. In this in the first album it was 20 tracks, in this case it's only six tracks, but you know four of them for well over 10 minutes. The first one even over well over 17 minutes. Um, the story um, of Book of Flight, the second part, is kind of related to the first one um, because it also deals with the whole idea of metamorphosis, of changing 
um, and boundaries. And I found it very interesting um, because it says here that mankind has been plagued by innate, deep-rooted desire to extend our reach and knowledge. And they have the feeling that some people want to go way up into space, while other people want to go way down. And he talks about base jumpers. So that's very interesting. And it also mentions that some things belong to each other. They, they say with great power you have great responsibility, with great knowledge you have great wisdom, and the one thing, you know, is, is connected to the other. Now, that is, you know, the mindset that they have in this album. And I gotta say, um, yeah, I find that very interesting. Then again, there's a chance you say, you know, forget about the whole lyrics, it's about the music. Now, of course it's about the music and I gotta say I was in 2004 when I heard the first album I was really impressed I, I loved the album very much and I've always kept on hoping there would be a second album now I have this one and from the moment I had it and from the moment I played it I loved it and I knew that it was even better than the first one this is absolutely stunning music I have to give one I don't know now well, a little bit of a Heads up, let's put it that way. Um, the vocalist, Dave Thwaites, also known as Zoz, um, might be a bit of an acquired taste. He has his very, well, very characteristic voice, very, very characteristic vocals throughout the album. You know, there's a chance you like it, there's a chance it needs some time to grow on you. Um, I'll be honest, um, from the moment I heard it, I enjoyed it very much. I really enjoyed his vocals on the music. Uh, it's For me, it's part of the rock experience. Before we move on and, and to describe the music, I, I just look at the lineup because we have the lineup here and they also mention the instruments they play. Now, the band leader has to say that the man who wrote the music, um, Mr. Mark Grassi, nicknamed Rock. Um, Grand Piano, Hammond Organ, Wurlitzer, Mini Moog, Moog Taurus, Mellotron, Solina Strings, Church Organ, Synthesizers. Okay, you get the picture. This is really heavily synthesizer, keyboard dominated. Then again, it's not over the top, it's not too much. If we look at the lineup of the first album, just in case you know it, um, they had eight people, sort of eight people doing the music. Uh, they're now down to four. And they have a new guitar player, Stefan Gabele. Um, he does guitars, he does also play bass. Now, when I heard him, and especially in the second track, The Breakthrough, um, I, I really hear some Freudian guitars in it, really good. The last track, The Great Machine, has some really beautiful solos in it. The third track, Book of Flight, the title track, he has some more heavy, crunchy riffs in it. Then we have Mr. Mike Lichty on drums. He was also present in the first album. Highlight for me, for his play, is absolutely Book of Flight. Heavy on the drums. The, the, the rolling drums take up a very prominent role on that song and, and wow, it's fantastic to listen to. But throughout the album he gives the songs that the well, that's plainly say the balls they need. Because this is this is prog with balls. This is not soft music. Um, I, I compared the first album to The Visitor by Arena because of its dark mood. And and I, I think they, they have the same kind of mood on this one as well. It's not depressing mood, absolutely not. It's really beautiful, but you know, it's, it's not the light floating stuff. It's a little more dark altogether. As, as for the keyboards, I, I really gotta say, especially track two, the breakthrough, the hypnotic synthesizers and keyboards that, that Mark Rossi uses there, it, it's, Wow, it's absolutely fantastic, you know. I surprise myself every time I hear this album how good it is. Now, I'm still holding this in my hand all the time. There's not much to show you except for the fact that you have lyrics and credits. And here as well. I really love this album. It's stunning music. 
um, I, I really think that everybody should listen to this album, discover this music. You know, this is fantastic progressive rock. It has epic long tracks, but not too long. The album doesn't get boring, it doesn't drag on. No, it, for me, I think it's just the right amount. Um, in the end, they have some shorter tracks. Um, track number five, The Descent, is five minutes. It's a really atmospheric, softer piece, very beautiful with some nice vocals in it. And, and well, the final track, The Great Machine, is about seven and a half minutes and they close really good. And they, they, they leave you wanting more, definitely. Despite the fact that the, the album is just over an hour of music, they leave you wanting more and, well, I think you will hit repeat when you listen to this album. But hey, that's my opinion. I am the reviewer and I love this album. I can't help it. You know, these guys make great music. I love the first album. I love the second album. And I really, really hope that you will enjoy this album as well. Support these guys. Now, throughout the review, you see some live photos as well. These are from well, the first album. Um, but it shows that they're not just a studio band. They go out on stage, so hopefully, we get a chance to see Rock on stage. But regardless of that, Book of Flight, Lepidoptera 2, listen to it, and I really hope you will buy it. Hooray!